Good morning, uh, my dear students. Uh, this is Mr. Lawrence, uh, your lecturer for the class or the course Internet Computing. Um, it's a pleasure that uh, finally we are having to make use of uh, internet technologies to hold this kind of um, lecture where though we are very far apart some of us locked down in uh, our respective homes some of us caught in uh, foreign lands and unable to uh, come together to access ourselves the way we normally do yet we believe that uh, because of the abilities that technology have given us we still can go on with our classes and uh, hold classes as though nothing wrong is uh, nothing is actually going wrong that is the power of technology for us and then uh, i've been seeing your other courses hold on the whatsapp group and it's a thing of joy for me that finally we Africans have been have been forced to leverage um, technology to hold classes. Uh, it, it is a, a thing that we, especially in this class, computer science students and uh, lecturers, um, have to show a way to lead that uh, things can actually happen uh, this way. Virtual classes, online classes is not something new. It is just something that uh, we Africans have refused to actually um, uh, make use of over the time. But uh, the advent of COVID-19 has actually made us to embrace this form of um, uh, classes and uh, subsequently um, I, I want to believe that our eyes and minds and brains will be open to know that with technology nothing is impossible this that we are holding is just a makeshift is a makeshift technological online class. The real online classes uh, that has been, has been used in uh, uh, advanced nations is still a little bit uh, far off from us, simply because of probably uh, the costs of putting them in place. But I want to believe that uh, with time we will get there, where we will not need even to go to Benin Republic where Mr. Lawrence may not even need to leave his house, where uh, Afar may not need to leave his bedroom, where Elijah may, may, may just sit back in his uh, uh, girlfriend's room and still be able to be in class as though we are all together. That is the power of technology. So you're welcome to this online class, Internet Computing. I will be... Uh, taking the first of such classes and then uh, we'll see how we move on from there. Good morning and you're welcome. Today, uh, the first thing we want to look at is what is the meaning of internet computing? What is the meaning of internet computing? I want to believe that we are familiar with the word internet itself. The word internet itself. Uh, internet is not seen new to us. And uh, at this level, definition of internet is something that I want to believe all of us should be able to give. But in order to avoid uh, uh, a doubt, Internet can be defined as a global computer network 
providing a variety of information and communication facilities consisting of interconnected network using standardized communication protocols. That is a very basic internet definition. That is a very basic internet definition. I take it again. A global computer network, global, not meaning we know what computer networks are. I don't need to go into that. The interconnection between one or two, two sorry, two or more computers or computing devices in order to share uh, uh, information, data or information. So when you put when you put a cable, most likely to most likely if a, a an Ethernet cable to one computer and connect it to another computer, or you use a central computing device like a, like a hub, a switch, or a router to two or more computers, and then you configure those computers so that they can communicate with, with each other over that cable that you have connected, what you have created is a simple network. Now, there are such networks all over the world, in our homes, in our offices, in our schools, in the banks, in the marketplace, everywhere. I have mine, you have yours, they have theirs, she has theirs. And then we decide or we make effort to make sure that all of these networks are able to still communicate, we still find a way of com connecting your network with my network, my network with their network. And then we find a standard communication protocol so that communication on that those those interconnected network on a global scale on a global scale that means worldwide millions and millions of computers in fact i can say billions of devices are being connected together and such so you can and so you can imagine the magnitude the enormity of the the amount of data that is being communicated so there is a need for a standardized communication protocol in order to avoid in order to avoid data loss traffic jam and all those stuff so the internet that is the internet when you have communication facilities for the purpose of sharing information and being controlled by a communication protocol that is standard so that you know when to transmit i know when to transmit your data does not collide with mine the massive data traffic of data on the internet is being is being managed that is what the internet is about so the internet is an infrastructure. The internet is an infrastructure. It is simply the interconnection of all networks in the world. A global computer network providing a variety and of information and communication facilities. There is email, there is voice over the IP. There is uh, there is um, video calls, voice calls like I'm doing to you now, and so many other fast communication facilities that are available on the internet. And then consisting of interconnected networks, interconnected networks using standardized communication protocol that is the internet for you so having known the meaning of internet i like us to quickly look at what is the meaning of internet computing internet computing ab initio what we normally do is that like i'm doing now like i'm doing now i am trying to i am trying to send my audio lecture notes 
lectures to you. And so first I must have a copy of that audio lecture of this audio lecture on my device, either on my computer or on my phone, whatever. But this audio lecture for you to access it when i send it to you via whatsapp you must download it onto your own device in order to listen to it properly in order to listen to it properly so i have it on my device i have sent it to you over a network whatsapp this time and you have downloaded it onto your own network remember on my device it is consuming an amount of memory space when you download it also it will it will consume yet again same amount of memory space on every one's device if elijah decide, decided to download it if it con if it if it if it uh, if it consume let's say 200 MB on his device. It will consume the same 200 MB on a fast device and on every other person's device. So that is exactly one of the things internet computing seek to address. Rather than allowing this audio to consume spaces on your device or on my device, I can easily use the technology of internet computing to, to keep it not on my device but on the internet such that anytime I need it, I don't need it to occupy memory space on my phone. I only go to where I have kept it on the internet, access it, listen to it and put it back there and my memory device is free and so we have what we call internet computing so internet computing can also be referred to as cloud computing or let me say the word internet or the word cloud is actually ref in cloud computing is actually referring to internet computing so the term cloud computing can be used interchangeably with internet computing. So when I say cloud computing or I say internet computing, I am actually referring to the same thing. So what is internet computing or what is cloud computing? It is defined as a type of computing that relies on sharing computing resources rather than having local servers or personal devices to handle applications it means we want to share internet compute we want to share where to share computing resources such as memory so we apply we employ employ cloud or the internet like i have explained before Rather than having our personal devices to handle applications, we employ the cloud, we employ the internet to share our computing resources such as memory, especially. So having understood the um the meaning of internet and of course the meaning of internet computing i like to call it cloud computing let us quickly look at um, another very important concept known as the world wide web www very common term and then we we'll try to compare it with um, try to compare it with what internet is. Are they the same? Are they different? Are they 
complementary or are they contradictory? So let us look at what the World Wide Web is. The World Wide Web is one set of software services running on the internet. Oh, wow. A set of software services running on the internet. You know, this simply means, or oh, that statement, running on the internet, strikes something important, that these two things are complementary, but they are significantly different. The web is not the internet. The web only runs on the internet. And one very germane term to understand here is that the World Wide Web is said to be a set of software. Yes, software services. Wow, I love this. Software services running on the internet. Remember, we have defined the internet before. The interconnection of two or more computers. Now, when we interconnect two or more computers, if there is no, if there is, let us say, for example, there is no um, connection, there's no connection, there's no network. It's just my laptop, your laptop without connection. Your laptop requires a what? A software. <laughs> a software to run on it. Software run on hardware, right? And now we are saying World Wide Web is a set of software running on the internet. You can create the link between this analogy I'm trying to paint in order to make it clearer. The network, the internet this time, supports the web. Supports the web as just one of the possible communication facilities available on the internet. Like I told you, other communication facilities that are available on the internet includes things like um, mail services, voice over IP, World Wide Web. <laughs> 